AI agents are autonomous entities which enable you to perceive your world according to your own context. In simple words, what it means is that if you have some application running, which is nothing to do with AI and you want your models to call that application through the functions, then you use these agents. These agents are autonomous in the way that whenever you call them and invoke them, they do their own stuff and then they reply to you autonomously or asynchronously. There are a lot of use cases out there. For example, you can build virtual assistants with, with them. You can use them in robotics, gaming. But I believe that the most authentic and most valuable use of these agentic software is in your legacy traditional cloud or on-prem applications which has nothing to do with ai but they are accessible through microservices apis through restful apis and through api gateways and that sort of stuff so if you want to access those applications and you want to bring in ai to them without any changes to those applications you can use function calling or agentic application framework in those applications in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a simple agent using Olama and Langchain Experimental very, very easily according to your own application. Langchain Experimental is still evolving and it has recently introduced Olama support. Olama is one of the easiest and simplest way to run a large language model locally easily and very quickly. If you don't know how to install it, I have done few videos on Olama, but just to give you a quick overview as if how to install it, just go to olama.com and I will drop the link in video description. Click on download. For Windows, just download this XE and click on next, next, next. For Linux, click here and grab this command and run it on your Linux system and same goes for the Mac OS. Now, I already have it installed on my system. So let me take you to my system, show you the Olama, and then we will create a simple agent locally, privately by using Olama and Langchain and see how that works. So let me take you there. And before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the GPU, which I'm going to use for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on an already affordable offering. Okay, so that said, this is a VM which I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and this is a NVIDIA GPU card RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM which I'm going to use for this video. Let me clear the screen. As usual, I'm going to create a virtual environment with Konda with this version. Let me clear the screen and create this environment. I'm just calling it agentic and then in the same go, I'm also activating that environment and you can see on the left hand side in parentheses. Let's install Langchain Experimental first. That should not take too long. It's a very lightweight package from Langchain and by the way, Langchain is simply a framework to create AI applications. I have done heaps of videos on it. So please search the channel. Okay, so Langchain Experimental is done. Let's clear the screen. As I mentioned, uh, I already have Olama installed. So if I do Olama list, you can see that I already have downloaded Llama 3.8 billion. If you haven't got it, just simply run Olama pull and Llama 3 colon 8 billion. It is going to download Llama 3.8 billion for you. Just like I'm doing it, you can download any model which supports function calling or tool calling for that matter. Because these agentic software, the way they work is they call the function. That is all there is to it. So we have the Langchain Experimental. Now we have the Olama. Now we have our model too. Now which is running locally. Let's clear the screen and let's see how you we can use it. Let me fire up my Python interpreter. First up, let's call Olama functions from this Langchain Experimental that is done. Now this is the beauty of this Langchain Experimental because Olama function, what it does is, is basically creates an OpenAI compatible function calling API call for you so, the, so that you won't have to worry about learning new API structure and that sort of stuff. And I will explain what it, what it means. Next up, let's grab your 
model through olama so i'm just simply calling this olama function we are specifying our model llama 38 billion and the format is a json now if you're using any other model because you can have multiple models which you can download and run on your local system through olama you can all you need to do is to just specify your model here instead of llama 38 billion here so we have initialized our model and now let me show you how you can bind the tool or function sometimes people call it tool sometimes sometimes people call it function so don't get confused it's the same thing so here we are binding the tools so we are binding the tools with this function now the subtle difference between tool or function is that a tool can have multiple functions for example you can see here this is a tools array and what we are doing it we are just calling this function you can have multiple functions here by the way so that is the subtle difference here but they are interchangeable too anyway so the function which uh, i'm calling it i have given it the name get current weather now i'm just giving it a description it takes these parameters like what is the location what is the unit and what is the mandatory parameter here and then the function call is this is the function call which will be written now as you know if you're a developer that every api you build every function you build has a signature which includes the name or maybe the parameter parameter so you know that what your application is which is already running somewhere and you know what parameter is it accepts and the whole signature of it so you can build this area just according to your own function call you just specify your function name and then you specify your parameter that which is required or which is not and then tell it that what how should your function signature or call should look like and then once you run it it is going to call your function as is grab the data with the help of llm we'll add the intelligence to it and then return it back to you so simply we have defined our function with the model and now let's call it through the human message now this is the lang chair lang chain core message where we are just importing the human message so the difference between agentic application and normal application is this the line which i have just pasted normally when you do your function calling you don't write it in this normal free-flowing text human like natural language you just specify your function call something like this right but here instead of calling my function with the name with the parameters the whole signature all i'm doing it i'm just asking it what is the weather in boston and i am just calling my model with it the model is intelligent enough with the help of this tool calling it knows that it has been bound to this tool this tool has this function so it has to call these functions that is why it says okay the weather in boston so it means i need to get the weather and for that it was intelligent enough to call this function so it is just going to generate a function call for this it is going to replace boston here somewhere and then it is going to uh, give us a function call which we can use it with our own legacy application so whatever your application is this is going to generate the correct signature as a result of this natural language and return it back to you something like this there you go so this is a more a message that this is a runoff id and this is a tool call where name is this and the location is boston unit is fahrenheit and then all you need to do is to just call your application with it and your application which already understand this sort of structure with the function call is going to return you the correct data and if you think about it you can use any application even if it is running on like 30 years ago some language like uh, cobol or fortran you can call it through this how good is that and all simple and easy running from your own local system i'm going to put this code in my blog and i will drop the link in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching